for the Korean War battles. See Battle of Porkchop Hill. Porkchop Hill is a 1959 American Korean War film starring Gregory Peck, Rip Torn, and George Peppard. The film, which was the final war film directed by Lewis Milestone, is based upon the book by U.S. military historian Brigadier General S. L.A. Marshall. It depicts the first fierce battle of Porkchop Hill between the U.S. Army's 7th Infantry Division and Chinese and North Korean forces in April 1953. The film features numerous actors who would go on to become movie and television stars in the 1960s and the 1970s such as Woody Strode, Harry Gardino, Robert Blake, Norman Fell, Gavin McLeod, and Harry Dean Stanton. It is also the screen debut of Martin Landau and George Shibata, who was a West Point classmate of Lieutenant Joe Clemens, who also acted as technical advisor on the film. Plot in April 1953, during the Korean War, a company of American infantry, led by Lieutenant Joe Clemens at a recapture Pork Chop Hill from a larger communist Chinese army force, they recapture the hill, but are depleted. Only 25 of a 135-man unit are left. They prepare for a large-scale Chinese counter-attack which they know will overwhelm and kill them in vicious firefights and hand-to-hand -hand fighting. While the Panmunjom ceasefire negotiations continue, higher command is shown as being unwilling to either abandon or reinforce the hill. They will not reinforce the hill because the value of the hill is not worth further losses. They will not abandon the hill because it is a point of negotiation in the ceasefire talks. The American negotiators come to the conclusion that the Chinese are pouring soldiers into the battle for a militarily insignificant hill to test the resolve of the Americans in the negotiations. The decision is then made at the last minute to reinforce the hill. Name cast Gregory Peck as Lieutenant Joe Clemens Harry Gardino as Private Forceman Rip Torn as Lieutenant Walter Russell George Peppard as Corporal Chuck Fedson, James Edwards as Corporal Jergins, Bob Steele as Colonel Kern, Woody Strode as Private Franklin, George Shibata as Lieutenant Oashi, Norman Fell as Sergeant Coleman, Carl Benton Reed as American Admiral, Robert Blake as Private Velia, Biff Elliott as Private Boban, Viraj Monson as Chinese Broadcaster, Charles Aidman as Lieutenant Harold, Barry Aswater as Lieutenant Colonel Davis, Martin Landau as Lieutenant Marshall, Sen Lynch as Major General Trudeau, Chuck Haywood as Chalmers, Paul Comey as Sergeant Robert P. Krukerberg, Abel Fernandez as Kindley, Kevin Hagen as Corporal Kissel, Gavin McLeod as Private Saxon, Harry Dean Stanton as Barman. Production. Writing SLA. Marshall reportedly disliked the fact that he had sold the movie rights to his book for next to nothing, and vowed not to make the same mistake again. Strode's portrayal of an African-American soldier is based on the 24th Infantry Regiment, which was still racially segregated in Korea. Like its cinematic portrayal, the real regiment was poorly trained, poorly equipped and poorly led. More than once when this all-black unit was placed on the front lines, a unit in reserve was positioned directly behind because they were expected to break. The regiment was finally considered so unreliable it was disbanded. Its personnel were reassigned to other combat units just as in the film, which portrays Strode's character, with good leadership, becoming an effective soldier. Filming some of the location shooting was conducted in California near Westlake Village and in San Fernando Valley. Peck, although not credited, directed a few scenes despite protests by Milestone. Reception Released before the film's premiere in May 1959, United Artists cut the film by nearly 20 minutes. Director Lewis Milestone claimed changes were made because Veronique Peck, the wife of star Gregory Peck, felt her husband made his first entrance too late into the picture. While that claim stands as unconfirmed, the film does show signs of post-production editing, with segments of several excised scenes showing up under the main title credits.
Critical response The New York Times applauded the film's grim and rugged style, the way it captured the resentment of the American GIs, and how it tacitly points the obsoleteness of ground warfare.